So today I've got a Tutorial Tuesday here on Crafters Autonomous. Haven't done one of these in a while, but I figured out, hey, I'm finishing up with exams and stuff, got a little bit of time on my hands, so I decided to throw a quick one together. Now, this one's actually going to tie in with a tutu I did a couple weeks back, where I made labels using masking tape and printer paper. You might remember we made these labels, and we were kind of thinking about, was this a good project or was it kind of a bust DIY? So, after thinking about it some more and some inspiration from a very special younger sister, which you should go check out her YouTube channel, Beck Pie Slice of Life, go give it a watch, go give it a subscribe, tell her I sent you, and she would appreciate that greatly. Anyways, Beck Pie had this awesome idea where it's a similar concept, except instead of doing printer paper, do the whole thing with the water and the tape. You get a whiteboard, get some whiteboard markers, and you use the tape, and we figured out that this is gonna work. So, this is super awesome, super easy. So, the big advantage of this is it picks up all of the pigment off of the whiteboard, and you don't have gaps like that where it doesn't actually pick up the design. Now, the downside is I don't have a way to like print fancy fonts on here, so I'm gonna have to just freehand with some markers, or you can also use some stencils. So I'm going to be doing some stencils and then I will, you know, add a little extra details and I'm going to make a label for another box of random jewelry stuff. So here we go. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a label here and I'm going to use this nice green once more, making sure that it's not thicker than the width of the tape. So I'm just going to make one that says jewelry using my stencils. And then just for fun, I'm going to decorate it a little bit with just some like random doodles. All right, so make sure that your design looks how you want it to. I'm gonna just kinda come along the bottom here and clean up a little bit there just to make the edge a little more crisp. But we're gonna do basically the same thing we did as before, except it's a lot easier this time because we don't have to mess with the water or anything. So if I can find, okay, here we go. Found the end of the tape. And obviously make sure I keep it lined up good so that way I don't come off at all. Come to the end. We'll just leave the roll attached for now. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I push all the air bubble out wherever there is writing because I want to make sure that it really sticks to the designs that I've made. So push out air bubbles. And now for the fun moment where we are going to peel this off and hopefully we will now have a nice label as it comes off. So you ready for the moment of truth? Check it out. We've got a label. Here's the whiteboard. There's a little bit left on like here and in some other spots, but you really don't notice that it picks up pretty much everything. Also, if I come to the back here and like rub on it, it doesn't come off like the Sharpie was doing. So now I'm just going to stick it on my box here, my container. Use a stencil actually to kind of smooth out the air bubbles. But there we go, just like that, I have a nice label. Obviously this one's not super vivid, but if we were to use the black Sharpie or a darker colored Sharpie, it would be more visible. In person, this is a lot more easy to see. I'm gonna make a nice little smiley face just so like you guys can see that, yes, this does show up really well. Honestly, y'all, this tape is called Easy Start, but I can still never find the end. Okay, once you find the end, it does start easily, but finding the end is a challenge. And as you can see, using different colors makes it show up a little better. So this obviously works so much better than doing it with the print and the paper and the water. So if you want to make DIY labels and make them super cute, go with the whiteboard and tape. This is so much fun, super easy, and plus you can get all these great colors. Only downside is you can't print out fancy fonts, but with the help of some stencils and a little bit of creativity, you can still make some really cute labels. So now we have made some amazing labels. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's project. Definitely toss out any of the labels you tried making with the printer method and remake them with this because these turn out super cool. Plus, you know, out of the fun colors, stencils, so much fun. So get to labeling your items. I am going to finish labeling my whole big crafting drawer that 
one is over there and is a mess, it needs to be reorganized. But anyways, that's what I'm going to be up to. Also, once I'm done with exams this week, I will be working on some more of those videos that I mentioned in last week's video, talking about some future upcoming projects I'm hopefully going to get done. So, summer's almost here. Hang in there, everybody who's in school. You're going to make it to the end. You're going to do awesome. And don't forget to keep crafting. Have a great week and happy crafting.